Hey everybody, this is Diliana Milleva and I'm excited to bring you Menopause Made Easy, a podcast designed to provide you tips and strategy to navigate the changes in woman's body, mind and spirit with more grace and ease. I appreciate you tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe and turn on your notifications so you are updated of each episode release. All right, let's dive in. Welcome for today's show in Menopause Made Easy. I'm your host, Diliana Mileva. I am a sleep expert and menopause coach, and I'm helping women to find this balance between business life and their personal life and find their passion, purpose, and pleasure going through this challenging time to pre-menopause and menopause. I'm so delighted and excited today to have this wonderful guest with me, which is Jill Lublin. And I will allow her to introduce herself to the public. Tell us, Jill, who are actually Jill Lublin and uh, what you're doing. Oh, thank you. And I'm grateful to be here with you. Well, the first thing is I'm a publicity expert. That's really one of the big things I do. I actually wrote the book on it called Guerrilla Publicity and three other books, including my latest called The Prophet of Kindness. To that end, I run publicity breakthrough boot camps and intentional kindness communities. So having a blast out there, changing lives, and have been doing this for a wonderful amount of time. So have been serving literally thousands of people and, you know, just publicity and getting your word out there. That's my, I consider it contribution to help others really get their name out there. Hey, how do you take a self-care? In uh, your daily routine, tell me a little bit about your meditation, how you nurture yourself, how you take this self-care to be able to run this successful business. Yeah, well, that's that's always the crux, right? Because guess what? Doing all this requires a lot of me. And so how I take care of myself is in the morning, first thing, meditation exercise, not always as great at that, just saying, but I do have it in the calendar, which is great. I do consistent, I call them, I have two cats and I call them kitty hug breaks, right? And I just go and I love on my cats and I rub my face in their fur and that's good for the oxytocin. I do quit at like 536, right? And I watch movies. I love movies. I take baths. So at night, I am off. I am not one of these work 18-hour day kind of women. I really do create a boundary for when I start and at night. Now, I often don't start till about 10 a.m. That's my ideal. So that I have the time in the morning to nurture myself and to take it a little easy. I actually think it's really hard, at least for me, it's a little harsh on my body and my spirit to get out of bed and hit the ground running. I mean, I, I tell you just this morning, honestly, I had an 8.15 meeting. I had a 9.30 meeting. I had, you know, this wonderful kindness circles that I do. And now this podcast, and guess what? The whole day is like this. It's unusual for me. You know, I like to say, and I think this is something helpful for all of us, I have rules and 80% of the time they work. The other 20%, you just go with it. You know, you have to, there are moments where you just do everything it takes to do what needs to be done. And that's okay. So I think letting both things coexist is positive for your ease. (laughs) And also flexibility, yeah, to be able to be flexible and to uh, react in according the situation and not really be strict to schedule. You have to be really flexible to find this balance. So balance is really, I think, the key. And also find the balance between the feminine side and masculine side. And when you're running the business as a woman, what does that mean for you, Gio? Oh, boy. You know, I think that's, that's a really interesting thing. Because truthfully, I have always been a, shall I say, ambitious person. I love to accomplish things. It really does fill me up not from a ego perspective, just fills me up to help people and to contribute and to get things done and to accomplish things, right? I love it. So I've had to really, shall I say, practice with that. I've had to learn how to let my boat kind of swirl on the water and not always row it. So in other words, I paddle my boat now, yes, and I have a general direction and I have a plan, 
but I let a lot more flow happen. And using my feminine has been a process. It has been a process. I've always been a warm-hearted type of person, which I think is more feminine quality. I've always brought that to my business, but now I'm much more transparent about who I am in my business, my spirituality, my open-heartedness. I really want to give that out. I want to model it. I tell things that I never used to tell before that were more private. All of that is how I brought the feminine in, but it has been a process. And I think as I've matured in my business and matured in my age, it's like, it's okay, you know? And at times, if I'm not feeling well or up to the energy that I really know that I'm capable and want to give, I know that it's okay that occasionally I have to reschedule and redo and giving myself permission to do that so that I can be my best is probably more feminine quality than what I used to do, which is push through, push through, you know? And to be honest, if someone comes to my call and they don't feel well and they're overstressed and they're overwhelmed, whatever, I say, let's reschedule this. Because I want you at your best. That's the thing, I think, that you need to uh, prioritize yourself first to be able to give. So, you know, as a woman, you always have this up and down and uh, going through these uh, changes of the body and the mind. I suppose that you have also challenges, not be able to be in the, with the energy that it's supposed to be every day, not be able really to be with yourself always. When your difficult time come and you are have these challenges as physiology and, you know, you are all women and, you know, going through the cycles or in the seasons if in life, how you overcome and go beyond these challenges? Well, I do think there are seasons. I mean, there is reasons why Mother Nature has different seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall. Now, depending on where you live in the world, you know, you might be hit by those seasons differently. But I do notice Come December, come November, I want a bit more quiet. I want to hibernate a bit more. In spring, you know, I do find there's more energy. And of course, summer with the more sun, you know, and I think one needs to allow for the seasons and for your own cycle, right? You know what? Each day we have different energy parts. I know in the morning I am going to be better energy than if you caught me at 5.30 or 6 o'clock in the afternoon. And you know what? At 3 o'clock, I finally put in my schedule, 3 p.m., 30 minutes of close my eyes, think of nothing. I set the alarm, just in case I fall asleep, and I take 30 minutes and I just be quiet. When's it been since you've really done that? So I'm just going to challenge all of you in the middle of your busy days, schedule your own time in. I like it in the afternoon to refresh a little bit. And, you know, I I just say, if you need a nap, take it. (laughs) Just take it. If you need to just, you know, scream and vent a little bit, well, do something that allows you to express yourself. For me, I, I like to make it something else physical, like, Go for a walk, you know, call a friend, have your support system team that you can immediately call. I was on the phone with my friend the other night. We're both like, I feel a little depressed. Yeah, me too. And then I I checked in with my spiritual teacher. You know what she said? Three days leading up to summer solstice, which is a blessing, right? There is irritability, sadness, depression. Guess what? It's normal. Somehow that felt better to me. And since I am a very sensitive person, yes, I will feel energy. I think women are more sensitive and we need to give ourselves space to feel that sensitivity and the space to know that it's okay to come inward. You know, I don't like to spill my upset over other people. So I stay off the phone, you know, mostly with my friends or clients. I don't want to put that in their space. So you just need ways that you can kind of download and get off steam, whatever that is that's healthy for you. Yes, schedule this me time, at least a few minutes for yourself to nurture your soul, to cherish yourself, to bring this joy and happiness again in your life. How you help the people, actually, what you do to help others with the publicity? Yeah, so my main thing is to support you to get your visibility built up, your message out there with real world things you actually can get done. So that includes a publicity breakthrough mastermind, which I'm so delighted you're part of. 
I run publicity breakthrough boot camps, which are very get it done. Lots of fun with media there and expert panels and really seeing what works in the world of media today. So that's mostly what I do for people and how I help. So when somebody don't know anything about the publicity and, uh, and they wonder how I can start, how what I can do to enter in this world, what you can suggest? Well, can I just invite you? I have something I put together for you. It's a free publicity masterclass. Come into that. We will actually go through some real things you can do for publicity right now. And there's an action guide included. So it's a two-part gift, which is super fun. And I know you'll put this in the link, but go to publicitycrashcourse.com slash free gift. Publicitycrashcourse.com slash free gift. And we're going to learn a lot I did about this world of publicity, how you can start actually to interact with media. So media, it's not so something taboo thing and uh, some scare thing that you cannot approach. There's always a way they, uh, you can approach the media, right? What I learned from you is that you just need to find the right person to communicate with, right? Yes. And simple things. I'm really big on what I call visibility building activities, simple things you can do to stay out in the public so that people know your name. I like to call that the I've heard of you somewhere syndrome. And yes, you know, 30 minutes a week is going to make a world of difference to just focus in on some things you can do to raise your visibility. And we'll go over that in the publicity free masterclass. It's live and interactive with me. Because if nobody know about you, and you keep uh, this uh, best keep secret, how you can people find you, right? It's a publicity is the best way people to find you uh, to get this visibility because many people misunderstood visibility, actually, what is that exactly, right? Yes, you need to get seen, to get known and to get paid, right? And I think the more that people see you and know you, there's trust built in, which is essential for success. You're right. It's uh, absolutely building trust. People know who you are and what you're doing is the key of success of your business. And if you have to give one thing to our audience that they can take from you as uh, suggestions to have successful business life as a woman, what you can uh, suggest them? Mm, well, I think one of the biggest things is get clear on your message. It really does start with your message. And especially as a woman, you need to be authentic and resonant. Women tend to more come from your heart. You know, please get in your heart and ask yourself, what's my message? Not what do I do? That's masculine. What's my message? What do I want to give to the world? What's my gift? Think of it like that. And that will help you create a message that matters for you, that you can speak authentically, that resonates in your spirit that helps you feel good and get out of bed in the morning with some purpose and with some action, you know, because I do think to love what you do and do what you love is beautiful. And let's be honest, some days are going to be better than others. So I want you to feel good about your purpose, which manifests with your message. Thank you, Jill. Thank you so much for your time today and for your wisdom to share with our audience. It was such an honor to be with you today. Thank you. It's an honor to be with you too. Thank you for tuning into Menopause Made Easy. You can check out more episodes on Apple, Spotify, eHeart Radio, and your favorite podcast apps. Check out the show notes for any website linked to this episode, including where to connect with me on social media. I appreciate you tuning in. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you'll be updated of each episode release. And visit me at menopausesupportacademy.com for all podcast updates as well. Appreciate you dropping by.